night, top secret time from the vault. From the vault. You know, I, I wanted to ask you, do you have a clue? No, I don't got a clue. Do you want a clue? Yeah, I do. You should get a clue. Okay. <laughs> um, introducing our new board, it's called Clue. You and like this logo because it's got. I like logos with the little with the thing, little thing, yeah. The like keyhole and the other. I've designed glass. a few like this in my life. So this is the working title. I mean, I think we're getting, I think the name is pretty much. Sometimes set. we change the name of boards, but you know, like we want to put it on for size. But let's yeah. just uh, jump right to it. This is the board. Yes. What's on this thing? So what happened is you and I were chatting. We wanted, you know, we just came out with the Circuit Playground Blue Fruit. Yeah. And we wanted to make a board that had more sensors and a screen on it, so people could do like Bluetooth data logging and sensor analysis and stuff. Yeah, and that's what maybe wanted to run like... Circuit Python, maybe Arduino, maybe Mako at some point. Yeah. And as we were designing this, we realized it wouldn't fit on a feather. And we didn't want something too big. that was metro size, because that would be too big. And I also wanted... Waste of space. To, yeah. And it actually kind of like, was funny, we were drawing it out, and then you were like, well, why not just make it kind of like a micro bit shape? And I was like, I don't know. Yeah, it's, we're making like a bigger feather, and I'm just like, well... You know, there's a lot of educators out there that they've kind of gone through all the stuff that you can do in microbit, but they have some of the accessories and the cases. And just like, what if we made like the next, the next evolution? Yeah. But let's make it try to fit all the microbit accessories. So this is what Clue ended up being. Yeah. So this is um, it's the same size and shape as a microbit. We love the micro. We carry it. We make accessories for it, and we just like put a robot in stock. Um, but it doesn't have a very powerful processor. It has an NR51, which is a lovely chip that we've used a lot of, but it can't run Circuit Python. But, but this? This runs an NR52840, oh. which is the like three generations later. So it's a Cortex yeah. M4, so it can do TensorFlow Lite. It can run Arduino. It can run Circuit Python like beautifully. We got yeah. MP3 decoding working on it. Yeah. Um, we've got these cute 1.3 inch color TFT screens. So they're 240 by 240. And they look amazing. Yeah. So you can have the REPL on, they can have data, you can have data graphing. I really want to get some data graphing stuff going on. There's two buttons on the front. Um, and on the back, we've got like every sensor that we could fit on there. So we've got APDS 9660, so it's a color, yeah. temperature, sorry, color, lux, proximity, gesture sensor. We've got the LIST 3 MDL, which is a magnetometer. We've got the LIST 33, sorry, LSM 33DS6, which is a 6 DOF sensor accelerometer gyro. So together, those are a full 9 DOF motion sensor. Yeah. We've got the um, BMP280 barometric pressure and temperature sensor. So it's a nice little sensor. We've got the SHT30 humidity sensor. Also can do temperature. We've got a PDM microphone, so you can do audio. Okay. And then on the bottom, there's three capacitive touch pads just like the micro bit has. It's like the same pinout. Yeah. Um, it's got the NR52840 module, which is again, that nice chip. It's got uh, maybe two megabytes of QSPY flash to go with it. Um, we had a little bit of space, so we put um, a Stemma QT slash quick connector. Yeah. So there's some sensors that we didn't fit on. So for example, like uh, PM2.5, which is a, a particle sensor, like air quality. Those are like the, si the size of this board. So you, you, could just, you could just put you stem just plug stem it in. QT in. Yeah, yeah you okay. plug it in. So there's other sensors that we didn't connect up. Um, it's got a reset button. It's got a battery connector. You can power it off of any three to six volt batteries. So like yeah. AAA batteries look great. So anything you had from the micro bit battery power world, that anything you work. had should work. Okay. Yeah, I did put a regulator on it, which the micro bit doesn't have a regulator for some reason. And so, you know, it's a little safer because okay. it's got diodes and, and, and a regulator. Right. Um, and it should work with a lot of the accessories, like cases. Stuff, any, yeah. yeah, any cases that aren't like super slim, it should yeah. work. Okay. Of course, there's a screen instead of LEDs. Yeah. But the plug is the same, okay. and it's got the same functionality. All the pins, though, they don't. There's no LED matrix, so you actually have you more, like 20 yeah. GPIO pins. So we could maybe do something fun with that. Um, let's see what else we have on it. You got the NeoPixel on the back. See, I wrote down everything, and then yeah, we're thinking of like Circuit Python would be like what we're gonna mostly use it with. Yeah. But it will work with Arduino as well, and hopefully, you know, sometime in the next year we'll have Microbit. Uh, sorry, Make Code support. Yeah. For the NR52840, which yeah. will well, add Make Code does Microbit now, and also does yeah. uh, Circuit Playground. So this is like a combination of a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. This is good. So well, I think it's gonna be good for like sensing, and then you know maybe you'd use Web Bluetooth or you'd use our app. You know, we designed that nice app yeah. for. 
circuit playground, so you'd have one, but this would have characteristics for all those sensors. Yeah. So it could be kind of neat, because I think there's a lot of projects where people want to do, like, portable wireless sensing, and, you know, the radios on these things are amazing. I mean, they work 100 feet away. So, like, you know, you have um, that drone that you can plug a micro bit into. Yeah. Well, you could plug this in, it would work even farther, and then you can maybe have a circuit python drone. So, right. interesting upgrade possibilities. We also have a lot of projects and accessories we want to develop that'll work for this and the micro bit. Yeah, the other thing is since it circuit Python out of the box, you just get hundreds of libraries. So all the stuff that was hard to do with either Arduino or with micro bit, easy, out of the box, works with this. Yeah. Okay. We'll get a clue, everybody. Well, clue's coming. So I designed it, so we're, we're doing yeah. a couple of revisions on it now. Yeah, we got some stuff going on. We'll keep showing it off. Yes. But anyways, that's preview. All right. Back in the vault. Back clue. in the vault. Clue. No clue for you. <laughs>